topic is vulnerability. Some people, most people I would say, hate feeling or showing, showing vulnerability, but it's one of the most essential components of being a human being and being connected. So girls, let's talk about it. I mean, we had our production meeting, y'all. <laughs> we were and crying. BB said, this is the topic of this segment. And I stood up and I was like, this is the most important topic that we should be talking about. This is the most important topic on the planet. Why? Because it's the one thing that we all have. You want to talk about equality? This is what makes us equal. Our vulnerability, our fear, our worry. That's what makes us equal. So the more we share that, the more we can truly connect with one another and learn what equality, whilst being different, really means. Mm -hmm. I'll go last. <laughs> Don't look at me. I'm there. <laughs> well, yeah, I think that vulnerability is, of course, very important. But after we talked, I started to think, because you asked me, what makes you the most vulnerable? And you asked me, what's, what makes you the most scared? But I don't think that that's what it is. I think scared is scared. Fear is fear. I think that vulnerability is when you feel completely disarmed. Mm. Yeah. You have no, no shield. Mm. So instead of thinking what makes me the most scared is what makes me the most vulnerable, I think it's what makes me the most disarmed is what makes me the most vulnerable. And I would say that's whenever I fall head over heels in love. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's when I am over, because it's when feeling vulnerable is when you are out there and you want to be and you're disarmed, you have nothing, and you don't care what the consequences are. Just have life come at you. Yeah. Yes. You know? There's like no masks. Well, there's there's yeah. no curtain. There's something about what fear is in that. You know, being disarmed, having no shield, having no weapon. That's a scary place to be. Mm -hmm. A scary place where you don't have something to protect you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right? Um, so I see, I see what you're saying. Maybe instead of asking the question, because when you think about scary, it's a big place to think. Mm -hmm. But when you think about disarming yourself and having nothing to protect yourself yeah. with, it, that, I love that. I think that's great. Um, so you were asking what makes you vulnerable, and I was kind of hesitant to answer this question because I'm like, uh, see, I'm already getting like weirded. Um, so sorry, it's just like it's a natural reaction. So you know, like I have daddy issues. My father, I have my vulnerability is I have a sense of abandonment, mm -hmm. right? And that has carried over for my entire life. That means that my father left our family, and then I was there with my mom by myself. So I have this very deep ingrained sense of abandonment and this is what i was telling you guys during the pre-production meeting at least for me it's a lot sometimes it's difficult for me to open up to a guy and tell him like yeah i love you yeah i have these feelings yeah this is what i want yeah whatever because i feel that the second i do become that vulnerable he's gonna walk out mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so that is something that's tied into you know my father being the most important person yeah. in your life especially male. male as a child and then for them to just abandon you um, mm -hmm. And it's something that still at my age I struggle with. Like I told you, I don't say I love you to a guy. He has to say it to me first. You feel vulnerable when you say I love you? Very much so. To a someone, to someone that I'm in love with. Because I tell you guys all, all the, the time, time, it's different. I love you. I tell yeah. my friends, I tell different. my family, yeah. it's different. But when it comes to that type of love, I clamp up immediately. Clamp up. Mm -hmm. Which you sometimes think. I. I mean, I'm so outspoken. I'm so like, let me tell you what I think and what I'm scared of and what I blank. And what I realized that a lot of my vulnerability, and there might be some of you at home that are the same way, my vulnerability actually comes from letting too much out of the bag. And what actually is more vulnerable for me is whenever I shut up. And whenever I'm I'm listening and people can question and people can be uh, other people can be talking mm -hmm. because that's when I go uncomfortable exactly so I think maybe the the vulnerability has something and I say fear but has something to do with comfort yeah mm. right of Being, course you're no longer comfortable feelings but, yeah yeah so I think at least for vulnerability it's is you're taking off that mask that you put on for the world to protect yourself and you know that we have these shields which self-preservation mm -hmm. we all do it yeah and when you're vulnerable that mask comes off and yeah. you're telling the world this is who I am this is what I do this is how I feel and you can be and, and not being afraid of that of those reactions I mean that's what makes us all like oh. and the more we use these terms the more I really believe that that is this is what will connect the world. Mm. Yeah. This idea. You need to be vulnerable in order for you to connect. With yeah. anybody. Yeah. More or less a boyfriend or mm. the love of your life or the woman in 7-Eleven. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Right? How do yeah. you connect with the people you see every day? And that, yeah. that's the key. So try to be comfortable with being vulnerable. Yeah. Try to get comfortable with feeling uncomfortable. Yeah. yeah.